Assalamualaikum. Greeting for Gajah Mada University. Thank you everyone for having me. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Anton Purnawirawan. I am postgraduate student of ITS Surabaya. I am the first author of this paper. I'm going to present of paper. This paper title is Classification of Peewee Morphology Using New Local Gentle Form and Random Forest. The author of the research is first introduction, second is methods, third is experiment and result, and fourth is conclusion. Background the research. Heart disease is a not confused disease but it's a world very deeply disease in Indonesia, even in the world. So, heart disease is a non-communicable which causes the biggest economic loss in Indonesia, according to the government health insurance for GS data. Heart disease account for 50% of total loss. There is a strong correlation between the duration of the period and the increase of mortality of heart disease. This is the question. The study of people is very challenging because their small is size, the shape is very diverse, and there are no specific time and frequency characteristic. Most of the time-based people detection pre-processing method proposed by previous studies only produce the ideal general purpose ECG signal. So their accuracy is highly dependent on the performance of the main algorithm. Most of the previous studies studied focus more on rhythm disorder or arrhythmias. Only a few researchers have analyzed the PBF over for atrial enlargement. Objective on the risk. To produce an accurate and efficient PBF data processing method for ECG signal by performing feature extraction using local central formation technique and classification using the random forest to analyze and identify the presence of other enlargement and other population. Contribution of the research at the add to the literature relating to be with ECG signal analyze specifically determining the presence of other enlargement and other population. As well as helping cardiologists in making decisions. Related research, all research refers to some previous research on the morphological classification of people. Here, there are several studies with different feature extraction technique and classification method. Data acquisition, there are two data we use, namely research sample data and validation data, QTPs. We can get the QTPs data at pcunet.org. Sample data came from 164 patients. Preprocessing, we use a butterfly filter and five point derivative function. With butterfly filter, we eliminate noise and baseline wonder and sort of the PV spectrum. Five point derivative is to get the slope of the wave. Ah, we pick detection with uh, five step. First, find the maximum point in the sample data, and second, look for the position of the cash wave that is more than 45% of the maximum point. Determine of the period boundaries area. Calculate the RR interval of two consecutive R with P. If the RR interval is less than 400 millisecond, then mark P with short area cancel. If Ri is higher than 1.6 times, then Ri means 1, then make two mark of the set with area P in segment Ri. Set with boundary area, maximum P in Ri means 1, starting from the point behind the Ri means 1, wave of 35% to 5% on the interval. The second maximum wave shot boundary area in Ri plus 1 is from the point behind the R wave in I plus 2 by 70% to the point 40% of the interval value R3. Determination of wave is uh, first find the first step with maximum function 
if the peak of P wave is less than 0.05 higher than the process stop. To find the area into two, the peak point to the start and the top point to the end of the marking point. For check for zero crossing of SP fitted area. The point of intersection with the first zero is the P onset, and the other part near the end of the area marking is a P offset. Feature expression. This study used P wave for collision feature, namely the average P wave amplitude, the average PR interval, the average P wave duration, the average between P peak to P onset and P peak to P onset, standard deviation of PR interval and P peak standard deviation, and the number of P wave in one segment of the electrocardiogram signal. A uh, P wave is considered to exist if the amplitude is more than 0.05 times the amplitude of the epic wave. Classification method we use a uh, random forest. Uh, we use random forest algorithm because this algorithm can make Small change to baking will produce a powerful classifier. Random forest is applied with a variable. The number of decision tree is 25. The number of attributes to be used in random selection is 0. Seed value setting is 1. Maximum tip of the tree is 0. And we testing with then for causing validation. The result of tuning the particle filter variable based on the mean and standard deviation as well as the maximum and minimum error values, it is known that the robot filter with second and third order value are appropriate. From the result of the R wave peak detection experiment in various ECG condition, the R peak detection accuracy results are exactly 100%. This uh, plotting of the butterfly filter. The top is the signal before it is before it's filtered. The second is the application of butterfly only, and the third is the implementation of butterfly and the five point derivative. Determination of the maximum set area for the wave. From the plotting, the maximum shot location area is shaded in pink. The determination of the PV location, the pink color is the maximum shot area of the PV. The starting point of the PV is the starting point of the green shaded area EE. Then the end point of the purple area C is P off. While the meeting point F of the green and purple area P is P peak point. Determination of the peak location mean value and standard deviation of error for the P wave location. Our proposed P wave detection method meet GSE standard. Our standard deviation error in P on is 8.2, P peak at 7.4, and P off 11.7. While CSE provide a maximum error limit for P on of 10. We pick 8.3 and we off 12.7. In the classification methods, from the experiment with different decision tree table, the optimal value of the number of decision tree is 25.3. From the confusion metric table, it is known that the highest error prediction value are left atrial enlargement and atrial fibrillation. From the classification performance, the result of our proposed method is sensitivity of 93%, safety efficacy of 98.6, and the accuracy is a given is 94.77. Conclusion of the research: one, the study has succeeded in producing 
uh, with data analysis method for EGG signal to determine heart defect, especially the pressure of atrial enlargement and atrial fibrillation. Two, this study proved that the local distance transformation method can be used for the detection and extraction of PV feature as an accurate data analysis material with the low global error value and standard deviation value of error within the limit of common standard in electrocardiography. Three, this study has successful applied to the morphological classification of PV use random virus with a good level accuracy. Four, wave detection in the ECG signal is strongly influenced by the selection of the wave spectrum during the filtering process. For time-based method, virtual filter work great in low order. This research provides the local distance transformation method for detecting P wave based on the RR interval, as feedback requires a small executive execution time by the maximum sample value function to find the peak value of error. Recommendation of the reset. The one, the author suggests the ECG signal annotation data be available based on the standards atrial enlargement abnormalities and are open to ongoing reasons. Two, the author suggests the need to increase the number of samples and use balance this data and consider adding other time domain features so that the resulting performance is better. Third, for available device with low research that currently only monitor ECG heart rate, the author suggests developing data analysis encoding PV on ECG signal by utilizing efficient local distance transformation method or similar method. So that's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention.